How's it going guys? Welcome to this prediction video. For this one, we will be looking at the Titanic clash taking place at Anfield this weekend on the 23rd of December between Liverpool and Arsenal. Now these two Premier League juggernauts last did battle on the 9th of April earlier this year. Arsenal were keeping up a title challenge with Manchester City while Liverpool were still trying to qualify for those top four spots. Arsenal looked to start the match off better when in the 8th minute Gabriel Martinelli capitalised on an error in Liverpool's back four. The Gunners then doubled their lead in the 28th minute when Gabriel Jesus found himself on the end of a cross from the left wing by Gabriel Martinelli. Liverpool were not going to give it up that easily and in the 42nd minute they found their first goal through Mohamed Salah who in turn capitalised on a mistake in the Gunners back four as well. And eventually in the 87th minute Liverpool would get their much sought after equaliser when Firmino was able to get himself on the end of a cross from the right wing from Trent Alexander-Arnold. The match ending 2-2, the spoils shared between these two massive English teams. We start off our team analysis with Liverpool. It is three wins, one draw and one loss in the last five for the Reds. Their last match being a 5-1 victory over West Ham United in the Caribou Cup. Player we have to talk about for Liverpool, obviously Mahmoud Salah with 15 goals and 7 assists. If Liverpool are getting goals, Salah's got a hand in it these days. And I, I fully expect him to play an important role in this one. Next up, Darwin Nunes with 7 goals and 7 assists. Darwin Nunes has proven that he can play opposite Mahmoud Salah or next to Mahmoud Salah and... Play that kind of role that Liverpool lost when Sadio Mane left to join Bayern Munich. And finally, I want to talk about Captain Virgil van Dijk. Now, with one goal and two assists, van Dijk is a defender, so we don't expect to see massive numbers from him in the goal-scoring department. But van Dijk has really solidified up Liverpool's back four, and they're looking strong and they're looking stubborn once again. We move on to Arsenal with an identical record to Liverpool. It is three wins, one draw and one loss. Their last match being a Premier League victory against Brighton and Hove Albion. The player that we have to highlight first for Arsenal, I would say, is Bakayo Saka with eight goals and 11 assists. Saka is the equivalent to Mahmoud Salah in this Arsenal team. He's the guy getting the goals, getting the assists, playing a role somewhere along the line when Arsenal score. Next up is Martin Odegaard with 7 goals and 2 assists. Odegaard is playing slightly deeper in this season um, as opposed to last season where he played in that number 10 role. So that's why we're not seeing as many goals and assists for Odegaard. But nonetheless, he's still such an important cog in Arsenal's entire game plan going forward. And finally, I want to talk Declan Rice with 3 goals and 2 assists. Declan Rice will be expected to keep that midfield solid, keep the midfield tight. Expect Liverpool to win the ball and try to counter-attack. And it'll be Declan Rice's job to put an end to those counter-attacks just as quickly as they start. Okay, next up is the head-to-head -head and the S3M2 verdict. The last five matches between these two sides have ended in two wins for Liverpool, one win for Arsenal and two draws. So already you can see it kind of favours Liverpool. Then you've got to take into consideration the fact that these home matches usually end in draws for Liverpool. Um, for some reason, they're not getting the win over Arsenal, but they are actually getting these wins away um, at, at Arsenal's home ground. Um, for Arsenal, I don't think that's a good sign at all. We also got to consider that Arsenal is currently top of the log with 39 points. Liverpool is second, just a single point behind them on 38. So this is essentially a battle for top spot in the Premier League. I think also we have to take into consideration Liverpool might be very fatigued and very tired um, when you take into consideration the fact that they played against Manchester United last week, then midweek against um, West Ham and now against Arsenal and Arsenal just didn't have that midweek fixture. But I do think that Gunners somehow get a goal here and they still manage to lose. 
So I'm going with a Liverpool win here. I think Liverpool score two and maybe Arsenal score one. But I just expect Liverpool to to have the squad depth to still be able to play that dangerous quick counter-attacking game that they've become known for. Hi, <laughs> uh, thank you for making it to the end of this video. Um, we really appreciate the watch time um, and the fact that you took some time out of your day to spend it with us talking about the sport that we all love. Um, if you enjoyed the content, why not, you know, drop a like down below or comment in the comment section. Um, maybe even consider subscribing to the channel. And I mean, while you are here right now, have a look at some of our old videos too. Um, they should be appearing on the screen right now along with that subscribe button, so you know exactly what to do. Um, <laughs> thank you so much, it really helps with the YouTube algorithm. And have a great day out there, and we hope to see you again very, very soon. Thanks, stay safe.